The school principal came to our class and told us that our classmate had been in a fight and he died. There was a lot of people who cried. Seven homicides in the last 10 days in Montreal, including three that happened right here in this parking lot on Tuesday night in the plateau. After a fight broke out between a group of people, three of them, including a 15-year-old, were stabbed to death. Flowers were left at the site on Wednesday as Montreal police are trying to reassure the population, saying the incident was not street gang related, but a personal conflict. I was shocked when I saw this on TV this morning, and to know that it's a young person that my daughter knows, it hurts even more. We never hope to see situations like that, and violence like that is very unfortunate. Angélique Langevin, a classmate of the 15-year-old victim, and her mother Geneviève Gagnon, dropped off flowers on Wednesday afternoon at the spot where the three men were killed. I've had a lot of tough situations at school, and there were a lot of people who turned their backs on me. But he was the type of guy who wanted to talk to me, who was there for me. He was a good guy. He was super nice. Two other men were also stabbed and died in hospital a few hours after the brawl that happened around 7 p.m. The victims, 23-year-old Alexandre Vatamanu and 25-year-old Ulrich Peterson Celestin, the head of Montreal Police's Major Crimes Division, Commander Jean-Sébastien Caron, said Wednesday morning the people knew each other, but police aren't yet sure what the conflict was about, just saying it was personal. Investigators have identified a number of suspects, but no arrests have been made so far. Around 15, 16 persons were, uh, were there, and there's in a fight with, uh, there was an unfortunate event that was not premeditated, uh, and the person who were there, uh, unfortunately, doesn't cooperate with the police. Montreal's police chief, Fadi Daguer, was also on site as investigators looked for evidence. It's horrible, especially three people. It's problematic in such a calm neighborhood. The city has seen 16 murders since the start of the year. More recently, a man was shot dead in the plateau on May 12th. On May 14th, another stabbed to death in St. Henry. And on May 18th, a possible femicide and another man killed. We're doing arrestation with search warrants every day. So we're pretty confident that uh, we're doing the job, but we don't control everything. And some are left to mourn. Elle avait besoin de venir dire au revoir. She needed to come and say goodbye. In Montreal, Alicia Rubertucci, City News.